Using radioactive sources in the classroom like this can be really dangerous, but what can you do to keep safe? In this question from 2024, that's exactly what students were asked. It says the teacher took safety precautions. What's one safety precaution the teacher would have taken to reduce the radiation dose that the teacher received? So there are a few different options for this. If you think about how to ask handle sources, the easiest one to put is to use tongs or forceps. Um, those are like sort of tweezer things where you keep the source, um, you basically increase the distance between you and the source. You only need one thing for one mark here, but you could also talk about uh, limiting the exposure time, so the amount of time that the sources are out. So put the box, put them in the box when not being used. Uh, you could talk about wearing a lead apron, things like that. But most of them will either involve distance or exposure time. Next one, we need to know what this word contaminated means. Contamination means uh, when the radioactive source is present inside a person or an object. It doesn't have to be a person, but in this case, it's obviously a person. So what can this teacher do to stop that source getting inside them? One of the things you could talk about um, is wearing gloves, because if you get the source on your bare hands, you're more likely to eat it. Um, if you don't if you wear gloves, you're less likely to do that. Um, you could also talk about um, tongs here as well, uh, which is quite nice uh, because the idea is if it's further away from your hand, you're less likely to get contaminated with it. So those would be some precautions to take with radiation um, when you're doing an experiment like this.